my lovely lovely friends welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here hi my name is melissa or missa welcome i you might not recognize me i have blonde hair now oh my goodness this is the first video i'm filming with my blonde hair and i slept with it in braids last night and it's really messy but we're just gonna deal with it uh, i love it so much more than pink i will go back to pink at some point but just for just now i feel like this is such a nice change Anyway, as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be playing with my brand new Mitchell palette. This is the, I don't even know, Feet on the Ground? Feet on the Ground Pressed Pigment Palette. Mine arrived maybe three days ago, four days ago now. It's just taken me a while to film with it. This was £45. I think it's sold out now, but I know he's going to be bringing it back. And this is the only thing I bought, um, just because... I mean, it was all quite expensive and I can't be just spending a lot of money on stuff. So yeah, this is what the palette looks like. I quite like the packaging. It's nice and heavy. It's well made. It feels good quality. Um, it also came in a box in a pouch. I don't really see the point in this personally, but for me, like what I can see myself using this for is brushes. Um, like if I'm going traveling anywhere not that we are but if I was I'd probably store brushes in there and um, I feel like it would keep them quite safe uh, the palette is beautiful so this is what the palette looks like very kind of grungy greens murky colors really really stunning obviously I had to get this one uh, it's got a big mirror with it as well and if you're new around here what I do is I'll swatch the whole palette and then I'll do this I look here and then I will give you my thoughts at the end I'm hoping to do two looks with it in this video but if that doesn't plan out then it doesn't plan out it all depends on if I wipe this off will my eyes be streaming but anyway I knew I'd have to get something from Mitchell's collection because of how much I adore my Mitchell Beat Bay palette which I've done a million videos with on my channel it's now discontinued so I I felt like I could trust the quality I mean I I didn't know if I could but I hoped I could so yeah I that's like a big reason that I was really desperate to get my hands on on his stuff because I feel like he knows what he's doing when it comes to eyeshadows you know if you want to see swatches of this palette see me put it on my face and then hear my thoughts on it just keep on watching here is my beautiful palette here are some of the shades a bit closer um yeah we're just gonna swatch it I'll do what I always do I'm gonna start here and go row by row I'll swatch it once and then I'll build it up and just see what we can make it look like um I've touched a lot of these shades already because I've played with it for the past couple of days um yeah let's just start watching and enjoy it and I'm just gonna do it silently obviously because currently I'm watching live coverage of the election and fearing for all of my American friends so anyway let's jump into this and see what happens
So that's actually the first time I've swatched the entire palette. I've swatched the shimmers before just because I had to. And I would say overall really impressed by the swatches. This um, one chemtrail down here really impressed me. It's like a chartreuse. I think you might look at these and be like, why, is, why are they both in there? But this one is definitely more chartreuse, this one's more yellow, and this one's more impressive. The black, I don't know if you'll be able to see from like looking in the pan. I had to dig my finger in, that's when I managed to get that black swatching really well. And I also dug my finger into this khaki green as well down here. Um, yeah, this just seems to have like hard pan already on top. I don't know if you can see that kind of like faint greyish tone on top. It's just from me dipping my fingers in or my brushes in and it's like hardened over. Hold on. I bet that person that drives that car has an enormous, enormous p Yeah, so it's already got the hard pan. So does this purple one um, up here. This did not swatch very well, whereas this other one did. Um, I didn't put my finger in there. I didn't scrape it. I don't know why, but I bet if I do that and then swatch it, it would be like way more. I mean, that's not even that much more impressive. You can't see, can you? <laughs> you can't even see. Um, yeah, so overall, I mean, I'm pleased with the swatches and having used a lot of these shades on my eyes, I think as always, swatches don't mean everything. Um, and it's about how they apply. So that's what we're gonna do next. Obviously, I'm gonna actually put it on my eyes and you'll see it like in motion, but yeah, just remember swatches aren't the be all and end all. And I'm definitely like slightly annoyed, well like disappointed that the black and like that green and that purple swatched really, really poorly, but then other shades really swatched incredibly, like this green, oh my goodness. Anyway, let's now jump into me putting it on my eyes and then seeing, seeing what we think. Oh, okay, sorry if you hear like pops and bangs, it's bonfire night so it's quite loud outside. I'm priming with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pop, it's really good, I'm just gonna throw that all over my eye. And I'm gonna start off with the black, the black which from the swatches I was kind of worried about but actually it does go on the eye well, it's not the blackest black I've got but it's certainly there, it's like it's not as good as AVH Noir, but it's better than Makeup Revolution, for example. The black. Just the black I'm talking about. Um, I'm just putting that on in a shape. And then I'm using a fluffier brush just to kind of blend it out a little bit. To be honest, this look was very fast. I think the whole thing took me like 20 minutes to do one eye, which for me is very fast. Uh, and then I'm going in with the deeper purple. I don't know the names off by heart yet, so I'm sorry, but I'm pointing at them, so hopefully that's okay. And I'm just gonna blend out the black with the purple. I do feel like this is really warm toned look, um, but my second look with it will be much more green, I do promise. Um, but this actually blended out the black really, really well. And I feel like with a little bit more effort, I could have made a really cool look. Anyway, then I'm going in with the lighter purple. I'm glad there is two. So there is one to blend out the darker one. Oh my goodness, those fireworks are so noisy. I do feel bad for all the, the animals that are around, to be quite honest. Uh, yeah, blends out really well. All of the shades blend out spectacularly, like no issues. I'm going in with the orange. It's kind of like a corally orange, but it definitely works for what I needed it. I love blending out purple with orange now, as you guys know. Um, yeah, the palette is, is fantastic quality. It It's really pigmented. It blends. The shades aren't too kick up -y. Some of them are. But yeah, overall, I mean, fantastic quality. You can see, I mean, just for, in my opinion, it's very easy. Um, I'm going with the yellow yellow. There's like a chartreuse yellow and this yellow. So this is the one that I decided to use. Um, it is going to kind of cover up a lot of the blending just because it is much lighter, almost pastel. But um, I'll go back in, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with the quality of this palette at all. Oh, I'm going in with this gorgeous shimmer. I'm going to put this underneath my brow, but I am wetting it. You want to use all the shimmers wet. They're just so much better. I actually use this as my highlight as well in this, this video. Uh, so that is the eye. What I'm going to do is just go back in with all the same colours in the same order and just blend everything out again. Uh, re-intensify and just pop like the black on the inner and outer corner because it's a spotlight um, and then we'll come back 
with a cut crease on and we'll add some more shimmers and make it a bit more fun. That is the eye, all blended, not perfect, but I always go back in anyway. So I'm going to just throw my cut crease on, and I also went in with a little bit of my Sheen Epic Liner in the shade Ice Cream. Just so I thought the colour would really contrast with all the like dark tones that are going on in my crease. Um, so I'm using this, oh, this shimmer, this colour is so beautiful. It is so beautiful, you want to use it wet though, use it wet. Um, and I did find like to really get maximum pigment, not pigment, but like the most from it. I did have to kind of layer it up a little, but I don't mind because once it's on, it is so stunning. It's it's just like a lime shimmer. It's beautiful. Anyway, and then I used this darker green. I wish I'd used the much brighter metallic, but anyway, we'll use, we'll do another green look, I promise. Um, this is just on the edges to blend it out, so I didn't wet it because then I feel like I've got more control and it's just easier for me and then I'll use Venom I can read that from here <laughs> the name of the shade to blend the edges and then I'll use more of the black as well just to help out yeah I think even there you can see it's kind of got hard pan but honestly like in terms of it going on my eye absolutely fine no problems but still yeah it's not as good as ABH Noir that's just a fact well that's my opinion. I'm using my Huda liner just on the outer and inner corner. I just decided to kind of keep this spotlight theme going and putting the barium green in the middle. And then I am using just the black um, outer and inner corner. And I'm going to use one of the, um, the khaki green there to fill in the center. Blend it a bit at the sides with Venom as well just to help the blend. Um, I, oh yeah, I really need to do a green look, but I had this look in my mind so that's why I did it today. And then I'm going back in with that gorgeous shimmer for the inner corner because I had to. I love that colour so much. Like, eternally much. What does that even mean? So that is the eyes. That is how we're looking. I'm really pleased with how they performed. Um, I know I've done a look similar to this, but we're just testing out how they actually work. So yeah, that is that is the look there. So all of my makeup is finished off. I also used, by the way, the shade, oh, what shade is it called? Bless You, up here as my highlight. And I used the orange Tiger Lily as my blush, just to kind of bring, bring it all together. I actually think it's a really pretty highlight. I mean, it's not something I would reach for every day just because it would be annoying, but it's quite pretty as a highlight. Obviously this isn't about the look per se, but I do quite like the look. Um, and in terms of the actual palette quality, I really like it. Personally, I've got no real negatives to say about it. Just the hard pans from the swatches, like the few shades that have hard pan. It's a little bit annoying, but I also find that with my Carnival 3 and my XL Pro, they get hard pan quite a lot. So I just scrape the top layer off. It's annoying and I don't really understand why it happens. I know it's something to do with like oils from your fingers and brushes. But anyway, like apart from that, I don't really have any negatives. I know a few people, quite a lot of people um, are upset by how long the shipping's taking and things like that. Personally, I kind of give Mitchell a little bit of a pass on the first time. It's his first time ever launching a brand. So like for me, not that fast, but I understand it really did annoy some people. In terms of quality, it's very much up there with my Carnivals or the Beauty Bay Mitchell palette or Jeffree Star palettes, which I obviously don't use anymore, but like in terms of quality, very similar. I think the shimmers are absolutely stunning. And I think for our first launch, Mitchell did really, really well. Um, I'm hoping from what he said to me that he's gonna send me the rest of the collection so I can try it all out. So hopefully there'll be more videos, but I'll do more videos with this palette anyway. Um, yeah, personally, I'm really happy to have this in my collection. It's just grungy and I just, I really, really like the colour scheme. So yeah, that is my review on the Mitchell launch, made by Mitchell. Very happy. Let me know your thoughts. Did you buy anything? Did you not? Are you like Teresa and you cancelled your order because the shipping was taking too long? 
Um, let me know down below. If you did enjoy this video, please say give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. I upload three times a week and I'll upload more with this. And yeah, I'm going to piss off, wipe this off and see if I can film another look. We'll see. I don't know. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I hope I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!